Hello everyone, welcome to soundproofguide.com. In this video, I'll be doing sound test on door sweeps, all different types of door sweeps. So this is usually the one that I recommend for soundproofing because harder rubber at the bottom, it creates a really good seal and it drags on the floor quite easily and it is quite rugged. So I'm going to be doing some sound test on a door where I install all of these different door sweeps. So it's going to be interesting to see which one actually is better and if there is a lot of differences between these different door sweeps. The only one that I couldn't find at my local hardware store is the brush door sweep. But they had so many different types of door sweeps, so I chose these three different types because they're quite different from each other. So all of the other ones were just almost replicas of this one and that one. And just to give, give you an idea, all of these door sweeps were basically almost the same price. Only difference was from a few dollars. This one was the most expensive, but it's because it's bigger. So this door sweep actually, okay, so this is how, yeah, I've never used this type of door sweep. Okay, so you have the, I don't know why there's two pieces, but also I haven't read the instructions. So that's the second one that I'll be trying out. And then this one was the cheapest one. It's um, just a just a plastic and vinyl door sweep. So it's nothing too complicated. And this might actually do the trick. I would think that this one will work very similar to the industrial rubber door sweep. As you can see, it is a lot flimsier than well, both of these other door sweeps. So I would compare this one closely to this one. Um, the only difference in price was a few dollars, however. Well, this one was more like $12, this was like $7. So it's not that big a difference if you're just soundproofing one door, but let's say you wanna put these door sweeps on every door in your house, well, just that four or five dollars between these different types of door sweep, it does add up. And if there's not that much difference between these two regarding sound, then this one would probably be the one that you should go with. However, it is quite thin. I'm not, well, I know for a fact that it, this won't last as long as this one, because this is probably the thickness of five or six like this. So just to say that even if the sound is about the same, that goes through, well, the longevity of this one opening and closing and little rocks and pebbles always hitting it, it'll probably not last all that long. So that's why you should probably just go with the industrial types. But as I said, if you're soundproofing a lot of doors, then probably better sometimes to go with the cheaper one. So this one is the, I think the one that will soundproof the best. This one was the most expensive one. I think it was about 26 or $27. So this goes under the door, you jam it up and there's not even any screws that came with it. So I guess you don't even screw it on. All right, so let's go try these out on a door. And what I'll do, I'll put some music on the other side of the door, and then we'll see how much, how many decibels the door sweep eliminates. So right here is the door that I'm going to install the door sweep on. And behind this door, it's just a little bit of storage but there's a furnace in there with a fan and a blower and that actually, it doesn't make that much noise, but just for, to be able to eliminate that is pretty good. So that's the door that we'll be installing the door sweep on. All right, so the first door sweep that we're going to install is this one because I don't have to drill any holes to put this one in. Let's just see how this basically 
this one basically works. So you just jam it in and all right so here you'll have to bring it down to there all right so we just mark the end which would be around here all right, so I've got this door sweep cut. It's ready to go. This is the only door sweep that I'm going to cut uh, for this video because I had no choice for this one because it goes on both sides of the door. All the other ones, all the other door sweeps, I'm just going to attach them on the other side of the door. So basically, you won't even see them on this side. So in that case, I don't even need to cut them. They'll be a little bit long, of course, but at least I can reuse them for either another door or give them to one of you guys because if you like, subscribe, and leave a comment on this video, I will choose somebody and I will send them some door sweeps. Let's see how this one works. Now this is without any door sweep, just to see how it's making for... So it's staying in the mid 60s. With the door open, it registers about 70, well, Now, so this one actually seals pretty good. And just to say there's nothing else done with the door. There's no weather strip. And as you can see, there's quite still a gap right there. But really it was if you just put a door sweep and you don't do anything else, this is the type of results that you're going to get. And of course it's jumping up because I'm talking. All right, so these door sweeps, as I said, I am not going to cut because I can still just open and close the door the way they are. Most of these door sweeps, if not all, already has pre-drilled holes. So really you don't even need a drill. Um, you can just use a screwdriver, but I have this drill. All right, so now that all the screws are in, it's time to do a sound test. Now, one thing that I did notice is the fact that I don't really have to put the screws in real tight where this thin material, it starts to pop out in between the screws. So even if you would put another screw here, you'd have a little bit more. So the thing is with these cheaper door sweeps, the thin piece here is going to start bulging out just like you see and that's one reason to go a little bit more expensive and to get something a lot more rugged all right let's try a sound test put the same music on so now it is To the second door sweep now this one is quite similar to the first one whereas this piece of plastic is quite thin so I expect we'll have the same type of results 
with this one than that one where it starts to create a gap in between where you put the screws in. Now this one goes a little bit under the door. Surprising, it has not created a gap whatsoever in between these screws. It is completely tight. So I am surprised after the last one seeing what it caused because this one is as thin and seems almost as flimsy but i guess you can't judge a book by its cover so we'll need to try it all right so now we'll try the second or the third door sweep All right, on to the final door sweep. Now, as I said, this is the one that I always recommend because of the way it's constructed. Another thing that's great is that the rubber doesn't start right where the metal ends or like the others where the plastic ends. And I think that will make a big difference because wherever you attach it on the door, this will create a better seal than if the metal was just touching the door. So it's almost like you have the door sweep at the bottom, the rubber, where it stops the noise from going through the bottom. And then you have it going all the way to the top where it basically stops noise from coming on from the top of the door sweep. So let's get this one attached and try it out. All right, so now that we've been able to test all of these different door sweeps, the results that we basically got are quite similar. They're basically all the same, except for one. This one is the winner by one decibel. This one was around 58, 58, 59. But this is also the most ex expensive. And the reason probably because you got a little bit better soundproofing is because of all these. So you just don't have one. You have one, two, three, four, five, six little pieces of rubber that is hitting the floor. So, but I thought that it would do a little bit better than that. It only won by one decibel, which I was a little bit surprised. Another thing I was surprised is the cheap door sweep versus this one. Now, they are all the same. 59, 60 decibels, all of these other door sweeps. And of course, the one that still I would use is the industrial door sweep with the heavy, with the heavier rubber at the bottom. And just like I said, the reason for that is not because of the initial soundproofing, it's more so because of how rugged the bottom piece will be and how long it will actually last. In my opinion, it would last a lot longer than a very thin, flimsy piece of rubber. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like the video, and leave me a comment if you have any questions or anything. Just leave me a comment. Thank you.